All right, so we're gonna put the uh, distributor drive gear in this morning. A lot of guys out there put this in uh, before they put the case apps together. I was never taught how to do it that way, so this is the way I have to do it. I usually uh, take a long screwdriver and uh, put them in. So you can look down there. You want to squirt some oil down in here first. Squirt Earl. So the shims have something to stick to down there. Don't uh, slide away. I've already got my distributor uh, drive gear lined up. Got three shims here. Uh, like I said, I put a little of that uh, thick oil on them and they stick together in one pack pretty well. So you gotta put them on the screwdriver like so. And uh, let them go. Let them drop down in there and then uh, center them up with the screwdriver. Can't see too good, which is never good. your time and I'll get this part. Keep hitting it with a screwdriver coming out. There you go, you want those as lined up as possible. Those, uh, this next part can get difficult if they're not lined up. And uh, it might get difficult because this, this isn't easy to do. I know some guys uh, do this the easy way, but I was never taught the easy way, so. Never taught the easy way. This is the way Scooter always did it. I'd go over and watch uh, JC and Joey Jackson build motors. And uh, they didn't do it this way. They, uh, they actually uh, would uh, put the drive gear and distributor in before they put the case apps together. So there we go, we're lined up. We got our distributor in. I gotta dig up a clamp for that. We're all good to go there. That's how uh, I put the drive gear in. I marked the distributor for number one. We uh, rotated the motor, it's on TDC, lined up with the case halves. The uh, intake valve was closing when we came to the top dead center. So we should be good to go. Um, I wanted to show you a little something, something over here. I gotta go to the doctors today. I got this sprung on me this morning. That's how they get me to go now. They tell me the day of. So, getting a tumor check this morning. But, uh, so here we go. Let me show you uh, the difference here. This is something that you gotta watch out for. This is uh, the push rods for the fuel pump. And uh, we got one that's long and one that's short. And uh, you wanna make sure that if you're not sure, always start with the short one because it'll cause a lot less damage. The worst that happens with that is that you have uh, no fuel pressure. This one, on the other hand, will, uh, overpower the lever here and break it off. I do believe this is a short. I'm not really 100% positive. That's one thing I like about buying the pump triangle. They uh, sell a rod with every pump, just so you don't have this issue. Uh, this looks like a short to me. I'm gonna try a short first because the uh, fulcrum point is right at the uh, baseline there. Uh, usually the long ones, the uh, fulcrum arm is upset. So it's up a little further uh, in, in the body of the fuel pump. This is a uh, Euro, uh, Euro, I think. Let me see what brand that is. I'll show you something pretty interesting about that. Euro Max, and uh, Ken ordered this online. It's got uh, C-clips. They started putting the C-clips back on the uh, fulcrum arm. That was coming out and the arm was falling off and then you had no fuel pressure and you were on the side of the road. So uh, here we go, we'll install our block and gasket and then there's a the top gasket which came in the kit the gasket kit it's uh more solid on the top i'll dig that up and show it to you so you know which uh, way those go so, 
वारी रीडा um, I'm gonna have to dig a gasket kit out probably because uh, I'm making a video. Here we go. There's some. There's one. And uh, this is a nice like uh, Felpro style gasket. There, that's really sweet. But it only came with one of them, and you need a top top gasket. So here's the uh, top gasket here. You can see these things are getting so thin. They're like paper, like a sheet of paper. You can cut them out of notebook paper almost. Whoops, that one fell on the floor. Oh boy. Anyway, I'll just show you the comparison of this. Uh, this one's much uh, more robust than this. Uh, gotta be careful. These will push out with the silicone, go light. I usually use the Aviation Permatex if it's that uh, thin of a gasket. So here's our gasket combination. We're going to go with the uh, short push rod, push that one back to the side, and of course uh, it's gasket, block, push rod, gasket, fuel pump, and uh, yeah, so we're one step closer there on the 1600, take you off, our distributor in there, get our cap on there, so... That's number one right there for me. One, four, three, two. So that should work out pretty good. Oh, I'll get those wires up on there. Get the carburetors bolted down. I got the uh, sheet metal holes uh, drilled and tapped. I put our uh, front pieces of sheet metal on here. And uh, I just have to uh, install the generator and uh, get that done and we'll be ready to go. So I'll do that when I get back from the doctors. I'm looking forward to this trip. So uh, we'll talk to you guys then. I'll uh, take camera, I guess. I don't know if it's going to be good news or not.